Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. And as you saw the preview video, yes, I have found the new Mechasonic and Dr. Eggman, or Robotnik to the real fans, um, in B&M stores. Did not expect to see this wave. And yes, all four figures were present in the store. So the Laughing Sonic, the minuscule Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Mechasonic, also known as Robosonic, the classic styled Mighty, and the classic styled Dr. Robotnik stroke Eggman. Let's get him open. So here we have the Mecha Sonic from Sonic 2, the original Mega Drive version, or Genesis if you're American, and the original look to Dr. Robotnik. This is obviously the one that was meant to go with the classic Sonic. At the moment the Sonic toys are split between classic and more of a modern look, Sonic the Hedgehog. Although I did like the original Dr. Robotnik figure they've done, they've released it twice, this version, the more modern style. I'd for me, I'll call it like the Sonic Adventure style Robotnik. But this is the one I grew up with. Big, fat, egg-shaped Dr. Robotnik. So what articulation has he got? So up, down, back and forth. Now this is actually quite a sturdy figure, if I'm honest. And I'm actually not afraid of moving this guy around. Well, they can't sit down. <laughs> so if they did do an egg blimp for this scale, they've got to figure out a way to how he's going to sit in there. So he's got knees. Look at those thin those knees are. So these figures are... So fragile. When it comes to my leg joints, you can move the hands, yeah, move them all the way around. You've got elbow joints. And one thing with the other Robotnik, you can't put his arms down all the way, and it just sort of like out like that. And I'm like, well, that's not a very good figure. But this one seems to work better and seems to be better anyway. I don't mind some details on the re reverse side of the moustache as well, but never mind. So that's Robotnik. He can't, doesn't have a waist swivel. And obviously he can do his run. Oh, he's got his... Ah! Get away from you, Sonic! Like that. So he can do that. While he's running away on the Death Egg, Sonic 2. And now, when I saw the preview of this, I thought this figure was going to be quite big. Look at the box there. I thought it was going to be a big, tasty, metal Sonic figure. And what have we got? How's his head? Yeah, his head moves. Doesn't move. Oh, he does. There is a joint there. Hidden. So he's got a full range of articulation. He can move his feet up like that. Well, this one's going to need to be on tippy toes to be the size of anything. In the game, he does sort of bend his legs down and uh, whizzes across like that. But the one thing, the problem with this is, I would have been cool if you could actually rotate the blades, but. That's asking too much for these these little toys. Is that this Sonic, Metal Sonic, is one of the bigger ones. This Sonic particularly has had quite a few names in fandom. Some have called it the Silver Sonic, some have called it Mecha Sonic, sometimes it's Metal Sonic, Robo Sonic in the Lego game. Um, for me, I'd rather stick with the Lego game names because they did have all three of the most more popular Metal Sonic. So this is. Robo Sonic in that game. The Sonic 3 metal version of a Sonic is Mecha Sonic. And then you've got the most popular looking one being this version, being Metal Sonic. Now, this guy is meant to be about this big. He's meant to be big. So, this Metal Sonic is probably better if you're collecting the 4 inch Sonic scale, because this would work a hell of a lot better with those figures, because he really doesn't work that well in the 6 inch scale. You can see he's actually the shortest figure out of all of the Sonic figures we've done probably with the exception of Tails and Cream if they ever get around to doing her so you can see he's is the smallest and whereas he should be the biggest which is a shame I was really looking forward to getting all the Metal Sonics because I love this although this is the one that broke when I first picked them up let's get those out of the way for a second so there they are let's bring in Sonic and the, the classic Sonic is huge, it has massive head. So I really want them to do a modern style Mighty as well. I don't want to get Mighty in the classic scale, I just it's not something I want. I want to get the more advanced looking versions of Sonic. Is it bigger than Tails? Oh see Tails is slightly smaller than this version of Sonic, but again, this guy is meant to be absolutely towering over all of these figures. So I would recommend, if you are picking them up, 
pick up the four inch scale if you want this Sonic, this metal work Sonic to be in scale with those. Uh, what accessories got obviously Dr. Robotnik came with a spin post. I wouldn't mind it if they had two pictures each side. I'm on Sonic, one Robotnik, so you can sort of work with both. So if they redo this accessory with a Sonic figure, it'll be the Sonic pictures, which I think it's a shame. They should have it double sided. And again, we've seen the spring trap before, not in my videos, but I believe this comes with the original, well, the second release of the first version of Dr. Eggman straight robotic. What do you think? Um, it looks like Jack's toys are slightly getting better. These two are definitely a bit more sturdier than the Sonic figures with their spindly little legs. But the end, I'm actually saying that. Look at that. That's like quite a thin joint there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am disappointed in the size of this Mecha Sonic, Metal Sonic, however you want to call him. Did need to be bigger. Should have been like a deluxe scale, maybe a 15 pound figure. These were actually cheaper. These were actually 7 99 whereas they're about 10 pounds in Smith's Toys. So if they got them in your local B&Ms and you want them, pick them up. They had all four. But yeah, disappointed in that size. I really wanted it to be like this, like a full force of Sonic, Metal Sonic figures to have flanking my Dr. Robotnik, which is this version. I, I am impressed with Dr. Robotnik. I do think this is a damn good figure and the classic one it's it's the more iconic one in my head and I don't mind the modern Sonic with him I think that still works in my head uh, Sonic Robotnik Knuckles and Tails with this version of Robotnik it is a shame about that I know I keep saying that but he's I just look at that he's too small. he just look he does look good he's got a lot of the jet engines on the back and you can sort of do that pose in Sonic 2 when he's charging forward so it's just You know, it's all there, except the height. It's the one thing he's missing. But alas, that's the way it goes. So, like I said, what do you think? Are you going to pick these guys up? Don't forget to love, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.